Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do wicks, um, specifically working on the ends. I've made a few other videos on how to do wicks and I'll still walk you through the process, but I'm going to focus today's video on how to do the ends. As you can see, my client's hair has different lengths. Um, some pieces are broken. A lot of them are thinning and he's had his locks for a while and he would like to stay on his journey so he's combining into wigs because of that. The first step is a detox. I'll add some warm water into the bin which I got from Amazon. I'll link it below and um, I'll add one cup of apple cider vinegar, a half cup of baking soda, and one the juice from one lemon after i add all of the ingredients i'll be sure to massage his locks all the way through and squeeze the buildup out manually with my hands At the very end, I'll just drain the water out with this hose and then I'll get my client ready for the next step. Right now, I'm just cleaning his parts, um, making straight lines all the way down and establishing a new grid pattern for his wicks. If you'd like to see how I did that, I'll link the video below. Thank you. 
on this next part, I will be moving some of his locks around because there are some areas that have 10 or more and then there were some areas where they, he only had like two or three locks, like the one I'm holding right here. Um, so basically I'm taking donor locks and clipping them all together so we can get ready to combine them into a wick. and you just start from working from the root to the tip on all of the locks. Sometimes I'll just go in and establish the base of all of them first and then I'll go all the way down. So I'm getting ready to show you guys how I do the ends. All you need is a latch hook and a rubber band. Um, so you basically insert the latch hook facing upward through the middle of the wick that you, you've established. Pick one end. I like to start with one of the longest ones um, and then put the end of it through the middle of the latch, close the latch, pull it back through the middle and you will repeat with all of the remaining hair and some of them will be too short to do this with and I'll show you how to tuck those inside as well. Once you get the longest ones in there, uh, you'll see which ones you have left that are that are still able to tuck around the same length. Um, once you get those tucked in, you will be left with a few shorter ones. And that's when you will apply the rubber band.
you'll want to pull the rubber band about halfway from um, whatever you have to crochet down so uh, just put it right in the middle and even it out with your hands the best you can and if you have some that are like crossed over you'll want to straighten those out um, so they'll be as in line as possible you see how I'm rearranging the outside so they'll lay flatter that's what you want to keep in mind when you're crocheting your locks together so I'm gonna go back in with my my tool that I taped together I've taped together a two prong and a three prong crochet hook and I'm gonna go in and fluff out the hair um, the rubber band actually holds this together so to make this easier to do because if I were just doing this without the rubber band to hold the ends would be everywhere so um, and they would come un unlatched you know from when we crocheted them to the middle so that's why the rubber band is there for now we're going to be cutting that off later um, but yeah you just fluff out the hair and get it like you got the top do the exact same thing fluff then crochet it together Thank you.
close to the rubber band, you're going to get ready to slide it down um, to the to the very end. And that'll be coming up in just a couple of minutes, so stay tuned for that. Once you get close to the rubber band, um, you're, you're going to get ready to pull the rubber band off and I'll show you exactly what to do with the ends that are sticking out longer. And I want you to watch what I do with that end that it, that's sticking out. Fold it up. And tuck it in the middle. And then tie that rubber band back around it. So you can now crochet the rest of that together.
When you're working on the tips, you'll definitely want to um, round out the ends by just going at it from all angles until you get, get it completely rounded. You may have to go over it several times. The ends usually contain the most lint. They're the oldest part of your hair. They're going to be the hardest to do. So you may... You definitely want to spend more time on the ends if possible.
what it looks like finished. Now I'm going to be adding the finishing touches. I'm just going to go over his parts with some gel, add another set of rubber bands, and uh, smooth down his parts, and then he will be good to go. everybody thank you for tuning in make sure you follow me on social media and hit me up if you have any questions on how to do this or if you want this done for yourself